Picture this, you've unwrapped your brand spanking new computer, you're ready to take it for a spin, but what's this? It feels like your brand new car is pulling out a trailer full of unnecessary apps and features. I'm going to introduce you to an amazing tool called Bluetooth Noisy. Let's see how we can turbocharge your Windows 11 experience. But before we dive headfirst into Bluetooth Noisy and all the amazing tools it offers, let's give a quick history lesson on why bloatware is kind of bad. Bloatware, our not so lovely friend, has lurked in the shadows of various different Windows versions. It likes to steal your resources, it opens up security loopholes, and it likes to snip around your privacy. So to install Bluetooth Noisy, all you have to do is go to the GitHub repository and click on the latest release within the releases section. And uh, yeah, you can download the MSI and take it for a spin. Upon launching Bloody Noisy, you will get a let's customize your experience screen. It will identify your Windows 11 build number and it will break down every section that it looks to touch in order to optimize your Windows 11 experience. So you'll see here there's a browser section, explore, desktop, everything. And then within those menus, there are some menus. So there's some items that you can then click on and view. And yeah, it just really comes down to personal preference. It does do a good job at explaining which item does what. So for example, you can hover over any item and it will give you a little bit more details on what it's actually talking about. So yes, I'll install the widgets feature. This widget app runs in the background, even if the option is turned off, this will uninstall the widgets app package. You may notice in Windows 11 installs, there's a lot of noise in the taskbar now. So there's news, there's weather widgets. So yes, there's a lot of unnecessary bloat in Windows 11 installs, but there's a lot of stuff here. I would recommend going through it all and just looking at what each option is talking about. So just hover over, have a read at the description to decide for yourself. So after that, I'm going to click analyze. It will give me a breakdown of how many features it's checked. So it's checked 39 features on my Windows 11 install. It says they like eight of them. So that's pretty good. So no action is required. And then it recommends that we disable 31 of these features to align with the options we selected previously. So after that, we just click fix, apply fixes, and then click yes. And it has done a lot of our fixes. Alternatively, we can go to the Bluetooth Noisy submenu and then click on Blue Pilot. You can see here there's 46 apps installed that I can remove. So let's let's get to it so you'll see here there's a lot of apps and some of them don't have really descriptive names so it may be worth a google or two uh but yeah so you see here like zoom videos zoom music we can get rid of them there's your phone nope i'm okay quick assist yeah maybe i'm gonna get rid of it and then we can just click on empty bin and remove apps so we click yes and this is all of those applications that could be running in the background just bloating our windows install so if you're feeling adventurous the wind mod app within Blue Noisy. It lets you play with code snippets uh, that are from the community and uh, built with PowerShell. If you click on WinModder and then if you click on Explore Mods, you will have to install a mod signature file to use these mods. But after that, you can see here, there's a lot of stuff that was built by the community. So other third-party scripts that you can run on your machine. Sounds a bit dodgy, I know, but these scripts are well vetted within the community. Do it at your own risk but I, I do recommend checking these out, uh, even in a VM to begin with, if you don't feel like running it on your own personal machine first, I want to verify that these scripts work. The one that I really like is Chris Titus Tech's Windows Utility. And uh, yeah, again, it has more to deep loading properties that we can use to further deep load our Windows 11 install. We can also see here that there's actually presets that we can also install for Bloaty Noisy. So after we've installed those presets and relaunched the Bloaty Noisy app, we can actually see here now, if we go to... Uh, uh, the top right corner the uh, sort of ellipsis icon and then go to select profile we have presets that we can click so if you want to click on just a bloat and then click on load profile it will then load that profile and select those settings for us if you don't feel like doing your own research and you just want to sort of slap something together really quickly and deep load your windows 11 install i'd highly recommend using this preset download it from the mod section first and go at it but there's a lot of cool stuff here so there's the remove telemetry uh mod i would highly recommend getting that as well so that's download and install it so if we go back to the win modder screen and then click on one of these so let's start with the disable services mod so that known as disable telemetry but let's click apply the mod has been successfully applied and there we go so it has disabled essentially unnecessary windows 11 services and and then if we go to the chris titus win util and then we click apply yeah so we can see here this is chris titus text utility and there's a lot of stuff here we can do as well so we go immediately to tweaks uh, we select desktop there you go there's a preset 
saves us a lot of effort trying to configure all this ourselves and so uh, we can just run the tweaks so now it do its thing and uh, it will run those tweaks for us it's it's great it saves us a lot of time and effort and it just helps us de bloat our windows 11 install even further because these are running third-party scripts you may have to actually set the execution policy within powershell to be remote signed or unrestricted yes these carry security risks so please do it at your own risk and maybe revert it back to the original settings after you're done running these scripts another pretty neat feature that bloody noisy has is the insta package uh feature <laughs> essentially it allows you to install a lot of the more common uh, applications on a windows install so you're no longer having to launch edge just to install chrome you can just launch this and install chrome install discord uh win scp github cli github desktop a whole lot of apps that you may find yourself constantly happy to install manually uh, you can just do it through bloody noisy yeah so guys thanks for watching remember use these tools at your own risk create a restore point and all before you even touch these tools um because they can have a detrimental effect on your machine if you use them incorrectly um and it can be a very big pain trying to revert all those settings but there is a few things in bloody noisy that allows you to easily revert those settings as you saw at the beginning and yeah uh, yeah just again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the